Hello everybody, this is Simple RSP King and welcome to my first commentary. First of all, let me apologize in advance for uh, if I sound a little bit down. I just had uh, basketball practice. Um, it's been going on for a while and it's pretty tough. I'm pretty tired, but I want to get this commentary out of the way. So <clears throat> today I want to talk about the evolution of combat update that is soon coming to RuneScape. In case you're not familiar with EOC, let me briefly fill you in. Remember back in the day when RuneScape was heavily criticized for having terrible graphics? And then they released that huge graphic update and pretty much shut all those critics up? Well, this update is even bigger. It is a complete rework of how the whole RuneScape combat system works. With the update, there are features such as dual weapons, an action bar, as well as many new items. Pretty much, what will happen is that modern day PKing, you know, how people PK today, will be completely changed. Pretty much, you will have to learn a whole new interface. Now, here is the issue. Most people love PKing as it is right now and completely hate the idea of the evolution of combat. Before I state my opinion on this, I'd like to mention that I understand why people feel this way. I mean, back in 2006 or... You know, that's completely wrong. I don't know when they did this, but back in the day, Jagus had made one of the worst mistakes I've ever witnessed a company make. They had removed the entire RuneScape wilderness in their efforts to stop real-world trading. Now, Jagus knew very well that the wild was the heart of RuneScape, but because they were losing money from real-world trading companies, they ignored how their players felt and went through with the update anyways. Many people, including myself, quit RuneScape immediately after this, because we simply felt betrayed. Eventually, though, Jagus, Jagex, ah, whatever, however you say your company name, smartened up and undid their misdoings, and that's when I, along with many others, returned to the game. It really does seem, though, like Jagus as well as their whole development team, fails to realize just how important PKing is to the game. It is honestly what runs RuneScape. I mean, look at the RuneScape economy. It is heavily based on PKing. How it works is people work on in-game skills to make money, and then they spend that money on items necessary to fight other people. And then the cycle repeats. PKing also helps RuneScape advertise itself. I mean, just look at how much YouTubers make RuneScape PKing videos. Come on, Jake, this PKing is awesome. Um, also, to anyone that hates... Uh, the evolution of combat. I'd like you to keep in mind that Jagex, uh, what Jagex is doing this time is just changing how Peking and combat in general works. They are not completely removing anything as they once did in the past. Um, anyways, to sum things up, most people see ELC as another major mistake on Jagex's part. I'm quite curious if history will repeat itself. I wonder if players will rebel quit and force Jagex to comply to their terms once again. I mean, uh, this mistake in my opinion is not as bad as, well, if you see this as a mistake, it's not as bad as the mistake Jagex once made, so I personally don't think uh, this will happen, but um, I'm curious if this will. With all that in mind, let me bring my opinion in. I believe that those who can adjust to change will stay, and that those who can't stand the idea of PKing being different will quit. As simple as that. Personally, if I had a choice, I'd probably say no to EOC simply because I love the originality of RuneScape, you know, good old RuneScape Peking. But I am okay with it. Um, I am okay with it mainly because of the graphics, the animations, and the new weapons. After uh, seeing it on YouTube, uh, my first impression that was that everything looked pretty badass. And uh, as you can see in the footage here, I am... Um, uh, experiencing the beta server for the first time. What I'm doing, I'm just trying out weapons. I'm taking weapons out of my bank and I'm just fighting guards at Verrock to see how it works. And honestly, I think this is really badass. Eventually, though, it's going to come down at how it feels when it comes to peaking. I haven't tried peaking with this uh, update, but I will eventually. I mean, you can see the footage is a little bit laggy. and My computer can't handle... Uh, I don't know, It's my, my computer is graphically re retarded, well, graphically challenged. So, 
Um, I, I'm not going to get any peaking footage of the evolution of combat anytime soon, but it's going to come down to how that feels. And if it's something I can get used to, then I'll be all right. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's all I have to say. Um, yeah, I think everything looks pretty cool. Um, I, I mean, it, they didn't change too much that, that it's worth quitting RuneScape over. I mean, it's something that you can really adjust to, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, please do leave a comment. I'd like to hear your opinions on the evolution of combat. Thank you.